I just every time I forget. We were a punk. I waved for people who listen to us. It was it was a wave. It was. Um, she hit the microphone. So I did. It was all going very well. Yeah, it's a fantastic day. Just fun all around. It's just we. It's it's a day. It's a day. We've gone for low energy. Um, very little shits. So this is what you get today. Yeah. You just have that's, to be happy with it. Right. I was going to say, if you're not, <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. Just deal with it. We have to deal with it too. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we can we can uh, uh, introduce the podcast first, and then oh yeah, that bit. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Uh, hi everyone. <laughs> I tried to psych myself up. It didn't work. <laughs> it did. Just don't don't choke yourself. That's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. And we are judging a film today. We are. I'm Katie. That's Lily Kay. Yo. As it always is. I'm back. I forgot I wasn't here last time. You weren't here. It was I Pagan. I haven't had a chance to watch that episode yet. You haven't watched didn't... the episode with Pagan? No, I got back at 4 a.m. on Saturday. <laughs> What did you do on Sunday? I watched all of the Sandman. Oh, God. <laughs> and then this. <laughs> oh, God. Fine. But watch it. It's really fun. We were I will get completely out. crazy. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I can uh, stick it on in the background while I'm at work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. It's, we are very funny. And, you know. I know. <laughs> it's just fun. Fun time all around. Uh, even if it doesn't seem like that today. We're trying. We're trying. We're here. Appreciate. We did it. Yes. It was looking very bleak. Yes. But we did. We it. managed it. Yes. I'm in this mood today, so like the guy behind me. Just so you know. I kinda wish I could be a bit more like her, to be honest. Yeah, she's cool. She's fucking cool. Uh, are we gonna skip the bit where we ask what did you watch what? last week? It's up to you. We can do it, but um, I I feel like all I do want to talk about the Sandman, and I'd like to actually do an episode on the Sandman at some point. So, Fair. unless you have other things you want to be able to talk about, Bullet Train was fucking awesome. So don't hmm. believe the critics. Just go and watch it and decide for yourself. It looks like a very fun movie. It is very fun. It's I mean, so so that's... much fun like and you know it's it's my kind of shit like that that's it, it it just appealed to me because it was fun they were killing people in it <laughs> nice <laughs> and uh, oh one thing i do have one critic give kari and fukuhara bigger roles because is she in this yeah and it's so unfair uh, she seems like a glorified extra in it, and I'm like, Aww. that's not okay, guys. Like, she's fucking awesome. She is amazing. So, you know, th- this was like, mm, not in, not in. I thought that she's gonna be in it more. She promoted it and whatnot, and she put up a clip, and it's literally like one of his, uh, his, her only two appearances in the movie. Mm. Which Shame. I'm like. It's not gonna fly, guys. Do better. She's great. Mm. Uh, but everyone, you know, is fucking awesome in it. And um, yeah, it's great. It's just all around great. So much fun. I love the story. I love how they connected everything. I I love when they do the story connection, like how they did it here, uh, and that it you know everything connect connects to everything, but in in such a good way. So I was very happy with it. Very happy. I also like things that are contained in a in a, in a single environment. It seems like trains just are really good for that sort of thing because yeah. you can have different characters mean different things, and it's just kind of an inter- it's it's an easy sort of story progression vehicle and a way to have fun with with the setting that you're in. Yeah, I usually also don't like trains. this type of movies, but you yeah. know, like, like we already talked about it. I don't like it when it's just like in one place, so it has to be really fucking good. This was it's really true, fun. it does, but I think that's why I like them so much because the ones that are good are really good. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Especially if we look at this movie, Prey, then we have to mention Dan Tra- ha, Fuck, I'm going to butcher his name. Dan Tachtenberg. Te- Tachtenberg? Is it, isn't it? it Trachtenberg? Tachtenberg? I thought it had an R in it. It might be. Sorry. I thought it was, I thought it was Trachtenberg. Sorry, Dan. 
<laughs> we'll just call you Dan. <laughs> we'll just call you Dan. It's easier. We love you. Uh, he directed uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane, which is fucking amazing. Uh, yeah, actually... so a movie that kind of takes place in one in one in place. In one place, yeah, yeah. So he did great with that. So when they announced that he's gonna do Prey, I was like, yeah, we're good. We're gonna be fine. Although the first <laughs> teaser that they put out was not very promising. I'm not gonna lie. I was worried. I was like. <laughs> Is this the part? Okay, so I feel like we've we've shifted onto the actual yes. review. Yes. Sorry. Part here. Do, do you want, do you want to talk about what you just? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the only other thing I watched was Lost in Space, and yes, you know that true. I've I've given you all of my thoughts and feelings about that's... it. I'm sure at some point because we've kind of done a swap here. Yes. Toby Steven, Steven Star Swap. We'll do like an episode on it, like a little yeah. retrospective. Yes. Um. But so f- you you already know most of my feelings on this. I cried at basically every other episode. <laughs> it's just so it's, it it makes me so happy. It sounds so weird, but <laughs> it's, it gives it's me joy. It's been a while <laughs> that since something just managed to go poof, and I'm like, ow. <laughs> I know, I know. It's gonna be like that. It's a it's great good. show. Mm. It's fun. Great really show. good. I'm watching I... Black Sails because yes, that's our swap. Are. Yeah. Well, I'm watching Sandman now because <laughs> no, that's understandable because I do. I, I I've my brain's gone rossy over it. I, really yeah. want to, I really want to talk about it I'm probably going to sit down and finally read the issues you bought me as well because now I've watched obviously season one is one and two so I can at least read up to there and yes. then decide if I want to go any further or if I want to wait you want to go further trust we'll me. see <laughs> trust me you do mm. uh, yes Lost in Space uh, Lost in Space Sandman. was good it's and man Black Sails oh there's so many good things and then this, yes, which spoil it's really good. It's um, really fucking good. But uh, I feel like now is the time where I reveal that I actually haven't overseen anything to do with the Predator. Uh, so this is my first. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh, she's back. Everything's fine. I feel like this should have been obvious because um, you know me at this point. Um, but it, I, you know, I know. The, the pop culture things about the Predator and the Predator vision, but I don't actually know any of the lore, really. I had a vague notion of what the Predator looked like. So going into this, I was like, eh, oh yeah, I was blind. <laughs> but I think this movie's good for that, actually. It because is. it's quite a self-contained piece of um, storytelling, which I very much appreciated. Yes. Fair. Yeah. Okay. And my, you, you might live. I still have to decide. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but nice to you. Look, I mean, and she still me. considers murdering me. <laughs> but out of love. Wait. <laughs> that doesn't work, really. No? No. Okay. Fine. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Kate is still alive, so let's roll with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Um uh, so yes. Um first I think we should start in the spoiler free area. Should we just give give a sense of like things we liked about the movie that are not to do with the plot, maybe? How you do that? I don't know. We always talk talk spoilers. <laughs> we do want to talk spoilers, but I feel like we should have at least a period of the thing where we don't talk about spoilers so that people can have a sense of what we think about the thing before we get into really specific stuff that we like. Okay. You know? The first teaser was not good. I didn't like okay. it. I'm not gonna lie. It was. It was. Uh, what was the first teaser? <laughs> the first teaser is the scene where they run into the tall grass, and they they have to hide down because mm. obviously the the predator is near. What? What? <laughs> and it was. It just felt like very weird i don't know i remember watching that and thinking that it it just looks cheap mm, i would even say um uh, obviously it was a teaser to be fair it probably was wasn't finished <laughs> Pro, yeah that's that's why i'm like it it was a teaser but it, it just it just didn't didn't have anything to it i, I felt like uh oh, it's it's probably not gonna be great that that was my first thought when i watched mm. that and then i i was like i'm not gonna watch any of the trailers so i didn't I was very good. It was very good. I didn't watch any of the trailers, but I did like the posters that they put out. I think they are brilliant and very well done. Uh, and 
And, you know, I was like, when I found out, because obviously I'm stupid, so I found it out a lot later on that I should admit that it, it was actually Dan's job, whose name I'm, last name I'm not going to say. I'm, I'm, I am almost <laughs> certain it's Trachtenberg. Okay. Because uh, I think it's like Michelle Trachtenberg. Okay. Uh, maybe. Isn't he like German? Half German? Yeah, Trachtenberg. Tra okay. Hang on. Check it. That's always the key to these things. Just check it. Um, Trachtenberg. Traction. Yeah, yeah, Trachtenberg. I was right the first time. I don't know why I got really confused. I spelt it right and then looked at a different the, the, the thing that came up and I was like, well, that's spelt differently. It wasn't. It was spelt the exact same. It's Trachtenberg. Okay. I'm not going to say his name. <laughs> I feel like I would butcher it, but he's great. And then I found out that he's the director. I was like, hmm. Okay, this then this means that this might turn out to be fucking great, and it did. That's spoiler free. That is spoiler free. Yay! Um, I, did I would it. like to pivot a little bit yes. for a second, okay, and ask because, um, like I said, I I haven't seen Predator. Yes. I want to know what it is about the original Predator that made like made you like Predator. Like, what is it that you liked about Predator in the first place that made you excited for this? I didn't like the first movie, so everyone is going to kill me now. Uh, because I watched it when I was young-ish, like 11 maybe, something. I think that counts as young. Yo, yes. Uh, I, I don't know, it was just weird, and I only saw like snippets of it. Like, you know, uh, I think I saw the beginning, where it's just a simple action movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, in there and whatnot. So I was like, all right. Uh, and then I saw like maybe a few scenes where the the predator is actually in it, and uh, it just felt weird for my eleven year old mind. <laughs> just like okay. Also, you were watching parts of a movie, and yeah. Not the whole. <laughs> yeah, not the whole. But then, years later, obviously, uh, when I was like sixteen, uh, I actually watched the whole thing, and by that point, uh, the second movie was out. Uh, and I think that Alien vs. Predator was out. But I actually connected to the Predator through the Alien vs. Predator game, if that makes sense. Wow, it's, so it's like, a, like a fucking four-dimensional chess game going it's on. It's a very complicated thing. Uh, because, uh, you know, I loved Alien. So that was like a big thing for me. And then yeah. they brought it together in the video game. And I was like, oh, well, the Predator looks interesting now. I should watch the movie. And that's how I went back and watched the first movie and the second. And then, you know, later on, the, the Alien vs. Predator movies came out. First one was fine. I, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to admit it. I, I liked it. Like, I still watch it if it goes on TV or, or if I find it somewhere. Uh, and, uh, yeah, but it was like, you know, that it, it wasn't your usual alien-involved movie. Like, uh, you know... The predator is a hunter and and smart and outsmarts uh, the people in it, and obviously he has the technology that uh, can help him. What up? Just we have the technology yes. every time in my brain. That's all that good plays. All I hear. Yeah, but it's you know, and and it doesn't need explanation. I feel like like uh, it's just you know, it's a highly intelligent species that lives to hunt and that's that's its purpose it's never explained why or why did they turn out okay like this. So that's, that's interesting yeah it's maybe it well. is in in like books or comics that i didn't read i don't know uh but it's i think it's a very fascinating uh very fascinating alien that they came up in and i like hmm. him or them or whatever I don't even know, don't if, know. If, if, they're, if they have females. I don't females know if they really or... have uh, 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 this gender. Um. <laughs> no, it. I, um. I really like it. Mm. And it okay. looks fucking badass. The design It's and a cool design. It's... Um, no, I'll hold off on that for a minute. Um, okay. So, because, like I said, I, I went into this very fairly blind. Yeah, I, I had seen Predator Vision. I think that that's a thing that's pervasive, pervasive yeah. enough in, in the culture that I'm like, I know what that is. Um, but I didn't really have much beyond a vague notion of what the Predator looked like, because in my head, because obviously Alien and Predator have, you know, they've been in movies together. Mm. So I, every time I thought of the Predator, I ended up thinking about the Alien instead, and I was like, I don't think that's actually what he looks like. So I had, you know, 
very amorphous in my brain because I've never really taken mm. the time mm. to look down and read or look at anything to do with it or watch the movie or anything like that. So when you were like, we have to talk about this, I went, all right. <laughs> I guess, and I, you know, I don't tend to sit down and just watch a movie for the yeah. hell of it. I need to, I need an in a lot of the time. Um, so this was an exercise, but it does speak to the fact that this movie is very good. In that, by the time I kind of settled into it, um, I think it, it, I, I ended up getting very sucked in. Mm. And uh, uh, um, I, when I texted you, I was like, "Oh, she's just." Uh, I just realized we've moved. But, there's a bear. <laughs> That's a bear. That's fine. There's, it's that moment I think the movie switches gears into being really, really good, mm-hmm. and I th- and the whole first part of it ended up being a lot more. Um... <laughs> My brain said a lot more good. It's not <laughs> what I meant. Uh, English is uh, failing me, which That's is fine. not good because my only language. <laughs> um... <laughs> well then. <laughs> talks a little about yeah yeah it, does. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it, it 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 put the beginning into perspective into a perspective for me in terms of like storytelling that made yes. it go okay this i see what you're going for here that makes it a lot more enjoyable for me now that i'm at this point where the movie's actually kind of ramped itself up a bit um i knew uh, amber mid hunter mid thunder sorry so <laughs> mid thunder um from legion yes. she's one of the carries in it yeah. And I, re- I, she, I mean, she was always amazing, but like she, I, I really, really loved her in that. So knowing that she was in this, I was like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm very invested. I like, I, I'm very, I like her a lot. My mum watches her in Roswell, New Mexico, and mm. I think that's where she knew her primarily. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so th- she's, she's just very cool. I love the fact that the whole movie is pervasive, and you know, it, li- it lives in, you know, Native American culture, and in, yeah, in that, yeah. that forward more than anything else uh kind of in and i think that's um you know it's obviously something that's slowly lacking but also wonderful um mm. in that they did this movie i don't know if you read that they wanted to i think it was initially that they wanted to have the entire thing in um and i'm gonna butcher this i'm hoping that i'm saying you're right. Com- com- comedy comedy yeah the uh the the and they said so, um they wanted the whole thing in um oh, yeah, uh, um, but I think they kind of moved away from that. But I think there is a version of it that does exist oh, all, all in that language. Good. Um, and I love the fact, I kind of love the fact that they don't give you subtitles for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it is was nice. It was very weird at first. I was like... It did kind of take me a second, but I think it's a, I think it's a good thing because yeah. you get a sense of what's going on anyway without needing, um, you know, things actually shown to you. Mm. And I don't... Um, I wasn't sure because I think... Um, Steven Spielberg did that recently in West Side Story and that he didn't put any subtitles in for any of the Spanish. Yes. And I remember reading that and feeling like that was a bit... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exclusatory? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but I can see the merits of it, uh, I think, now out, out of this. Um, yeah. Shall we, sh- um, shall we shift into spoilers? Yes. Spoilers from here, folks. Prey is available on Disney Plus or Hulu, depending on your region. You can go watch it right now. Yes. Only an hour and 40 minutes. That's another plus for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's tight. It is very tight. Uh, yeah, all right. Stuff. What do you want to talk about specifically within I... the movie? I I was a bit put off at first by the amount of dead animals that were shown oh. being brutally murdered on a regular basis, kind of you during see... the beginning parts of the movie. <laughs> But that's that's the essence of the predator, though. Like, okay, um, if you watch the movie Predators, mm. which is also I love that movie. Uh, I don't care what the haters say. That's a really good movie. They basically um, take people to the predator planet, the home planet, and that. Or well, we don't know if it's a home planet or not, but it's it's a hunting planet where they just. Uh, uh, deliver like you know different praise and whatnot uh and at one scene uh you can see that you know they so the predators are collecting skulls and spines that's their favorite thing just grabbing the spine and just pulling it out fucking like i that. i noticed that yes, yes with the with the wolf yes love that love that it's always like ooh. um 
But uh, yeah, if 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 you watch that movie, there's that one scene where Adrian Brody uh, and the crew fr- uh, finds uh, a living predator, uh, and as they walk through their camp, there's like different schools and everything, and you can see animal schools as well from mm-hmm. Earth and an alien one. <laughs> Very good callback. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a predator thing. Like you know, they're gonna yeah, try and I... find their. Sp- uh, um uh space among you know the different other predators uh and where they can fit in just like they did in Jurassic World. That's that's <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's that's what Owen said and he was right and that's what the predator does is it's he's gonna hunt uh, you know as they say in the movie as well he's uh, gonna fight the things that seem dangerous uh and that can actually fight back as well which is very important in this case uh, so yeah, it was it was a uh, it was excessive. I was like, hmm. yeah, it it did get to me a little bit at times. But yes. it, I found what I did find interesting is that that whole sequence where she basically kills like seven people in a row, mm. I it didn't bother me in the slightest. No, me neither. <laughs> Which says a lot about us, I think. But I think it also says something about the way that uh, we show violence in movies. But we don't need to get into that as like a uh, yeah. whole discussion. Another but I think, time, another time. Um, yeah, I, it was that whole sequence. I was like, yeah, yeah, very uh, cool. I, I was the same. Uh, but also, one more thing about Predators. It was directed mm. by Anton Nimrod, who's Hungarian, really? and, and he did did two episodes of uh, Stranger Things season four. Ah, I thought I was wondering if it was the same it is guy. The same. Yes, but he's great. It's fun. He's fucking great. Yes. Yeah. So like, it did take me, like I said, because I kind of went into it being like, all right, I'll shut this one. Uh, I had also just spent the entire day watching Sandman, so I had maybe three hours between doing that and then watching this. So I was like, I guess we're just gonna do this now. Um, but um, that I, uh, like I said, the sort of tension that wraps up, it ra- ratchets up in that first part. Um, was uh like i wasn't sure about it until it started becoming more like when when she finally encounters him i think it then you go okay Mm. this was tension building period and now we're in the period where we get to like have a bit more fun with it yeah um uh i i really like that they didn't downplay that first meeting because Mm. uh in these movies uh it tends to happen that we want to make our characters so fucking bad is that they see a new species for the first time and they're like ah oh, no reaction and she was fucking terrified like oh, you, yeah. know, I, she, you could see it on her I, face and i was like i oh. think the time period helps for that as well because it's like 17 something i can't remember the 18, year exactly I think. 17 18 something like that yeah it's, it's it's very early in the in the 18th century anyway and um but that but and- but also like the fact that it's something that you've never seen before, so well, obviously. Well, yeah, but and... I feel like the 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 level of things you haven't seen before is, is so much higher in that oh, yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah. in that sense because um, uh, it's you know it's a, it's a I don't want to say it's a simple life they lead because that feels a bit I feel like that seems derogatory, but what I mean is that they have, you know, they they live off the land. They do um, they they know their spaces and they're very good at, at that. They're very um, symbiotic with that. Mm. So having this this new thing come in and be something that they haven't she this even she hasn't seen before is like I think it ratchets that tension up even further. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So like I'm I'm very glad that you know that scene hits. Like we obviously have seen the predator beforehand because they showed him hit mm. whatever um, <laughs> and and uh, but it's still like it hits you like this thing just killed the bear and lifts it up above its head like yeah you know and she's ter- terrified rightfully so and i was glad to see that she wasn't immediately attacking it like a fucking badass <laughs> no actually what ah! i think <laughs> what i think works very well in this whole movie is that she's the one who's very smart about the entire thing yes because the rest exactly. of them are all just sort of like we can just attack it and it'll be fine and it's like and then they all die yes she's um, she's the second ripley there i said it um yeah uh but i think it's it's nice to, it it shows that she um she's a very measured response to the entire thing cuz yes. she doesn't go straight for um Life she said mm-hmm. what well, yes and i don't like to generalize <laughs> but like in yes i guess um 
yeah, I liked the fact that uh, oftentimes she was shown running away, but it was never out of cowardice. It was always out of I am um, I am overpowered in this situation, so I need to move back. It was very strategic for the thing, and I I liked the fact that it always showed that she had that kind of you know smart minded yes. nature to her. Yes. She was the first one to figure out what was going on. <laughs> really, it's just, it's like, I'm she going actually on. paid attention. To the yeah, <laughs> same. It's like clearly the best track is there, and she's like, "There's something else out here." And it's like, ah, crazy woman. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's just a big bear. It's bears again everywhere. The quarry here. <laughs> it's probably yeah, I've bear. heard of bears. <laughs> Really, one of the greatest lines ever written. <laughs> it's so good. Bears. Um, oh god. Yeah. Uh, there, there, it's a very small thing, but there was a moment where she slid down like a little, you know, like part of a, a cliff side, and then hit a tree, and then got onto the floor. And I was like, "That may have been the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> so it's not what I'm like. She's very cool. She's, She's very cool. cool. Yeah. It, it, and it was written well, which I really enjoyed. Like, yes, you know, it it didn't try to be more than it could have been, if that makes sense. Like, mm. it, uh, it... no, I, I I absolutely agree. I think I, I was going to say something similar. I like the fact that it's it's a it. I think so many of these movies, I think, was one of the issues with sequels in, in general, or prequels, or anything kind of like that, is that um, obviously there's a, there's a sense of like, oh, we need to go bigger in order to make it better. Nah. And I like the fact that this is very small. And I liked the, I really liked the fact that basically everything that came up came back. Like I, even stuff I didn't think that would come back to be helpful, I was like, oh shit, that did go. like the whole thing with the her falling in the mud pit. Yeah, didn't see that coming at all. I was like, fuck, brilliant. It was pretty brilliant. Uh, I I I I thought because in the original movie, uh, when Arnold Schwarzenegger figures out that um. You know, if if you don't give off heat, then it can see you. Uh, he covers himself in mud. So my original told when I was uh, oh, I watching see. it that she's going to use that as well. It always seems cheap, I think, to do it like that, though, because it's already been done before. And I think the way that they did it in this mix shows that she's a lot smarter than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um. it's the same thing, basically. She hmm. discovers that if... You know, if because the they say it as well that the the flower that they eat it, it makes them cold, cold immediately, yeah. so they lose heat. So you know, very smart. I like that. I like that that it, they, they didn't actually use the mod trick again. Uh, so I liked it as well. But uh, mm. it was a nice callback because you know that could have happened, mm. but I'm glad it didn't. Indeed. Um... I thought that the moment the predator was revealed from its camouflage was very well earned. Because oh, um, cool obviously design. you spend the entire thing kind of seeing it in that sort of invisible mode and the proper like camouflage stuff. So you get glimpses of it and you get like a moment where you see the leg and you see like the arm and all that sort of stuff. That moment where it like shifts over to its head and he, he roars properly, you get to see it's, it's like head for the first time, like in full view. It's like, oh, that was... I, I I very consciously caught that as like that was a very good cho- like storytelling choice and I appreciated it. Good work right there. Mm, and honestly, one of the best uh, predator designs that I've seen in any of the movies. Like I love the original, like obviously, but it's the original is more. It has human eyes. I almost feel like the the skull mate, kind of gives it a kind of Wendigo look to it, which is a Native American. Um, uh, is it folktale? Is that the right Fol- term? Myth mythology Mythology-y, based thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, and I, I was, think it was very intentional. I was probably intentional, yeah. But I I, I did clock that and was thought was that was, was that, I thought that was very interesting. Yeah, and and it it looked more menacing that they didn't give it the the human eyes because, you know, it's it's like. Human eyes can be also the shape and whatnot, and they they try to get away from that. And I was like, oh, "You're so fucking cool." Mm. <laughs> the mm. predator is just cool, just cool looking. Oh. It will fucking kill us like in a second. Uh, I was a bit afraid that uh, you know, obviously they had to uh, fight it off in the end, and I was a bit afraid that they're gonna make it 
completely unbelievable. Like, you know, we, we already seen this thing kill like a fucking bear and then like at least two two dozen uh, people or, or even more. And then this girl, this tiny girl, is obviously very skilled, but you know, I was like, okay, how are you gonna how are you gonna sort this out uh without making it like Yeah. And then they did it the best way. She's fucking no, smart. She- yeah, exactly. She doesn't go for brute force, she goes for strategy. Yeah. Which she has done the entire movie and yeah. it, it pays off um superbly. So I was um, like, Okay, I don't she recognizes who she is and the environment that she's in and all that yeah. sort of stuff and, and, and how to use it to her advantage, which is amazing. Um I said this to you and I'm very glad that we're both all right because uh that dog was amazing. <laughs> if they would have killed the dog <laughs> And I, I, there were multiple times where I could see them being like, "No, we're not going to kill the dog." We yeah. <laughs> they were smart about it. They made they... it real close, and it was like, "I see what you're doing here." I'm very happy about it. They were so close, and I was like, you know "If what? you, if you kill that I want dog, to make sure I get everybody's names right as well, because I feel like we should uh, name them properly." Let me just yes. do some googling. So you keep saying things. Yeah. No. But um, yeah. The dog was the real star. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, yeah. uh, uh, I was he so was very... the re- genuine star. But yes. like, yeah. That dog, yeah. Yeah. amazing. Yeah, I was like, I was so worried, especially when they they showed the dog first. Sorry, this is me being tired. Uh, it, it it it's been a long day. It's been a fucking long day. Uh, I was like, oh no. Oh no! If you fuckers kill the dog, I'm turning this movie off. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even gonna watch it. I couldn't. My my um, mental state couldn't handle the the death of the dog. But it, it I, I very it much appreciate the fact that I feel like movies are getting away from just killing the dog off for shock value. Yes. Um. Just in general, out of stuff, I'm, and I'm appreciative of that because we really don't need to see that anymore. Um. It doesn't really add anything to your uh uh. Um, movie yep. and it's much nicer to see the dog survive to the end of it uh, frankly yes 100% um, agree. Naru was her name Naru yeah Naru yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, Naru was great uh, I, I was uh, sorry did you yes, have something no, no go ahead okay I was just going to say I think one of the things I like the best because you know I love a theme yes was that I, I really like the fact that somebody pointed out that he's very specific they, they, they gave this version of the predator like a sort of third party um uh, uh expositional purpose in that somebody was like he's going after the the more skilled hunters because he wants to you know see yes. if he can beat them essentially yeah which is what she's doing the entire movie yeah and i felt like the movie did a really good job of kind of narratively pairing the two of them um in the story and i think that really is really shown in the fact that can't stop thinking about how brilliant the title is because mm. it's so simple but it's like of course that's that's exactly what it should be called yeah and every time i kind of think about it a bit more i'm like oh man it's a really good title it is a very good title <laughs> they keep thinking she keeps being thought of as prey and like not a good enough prey to go after because she's not enough of a predator yeah and then she is enough of a predator in the end and i'm like ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's good storytelling it is it's very good storytelling and uh, there are already campaigns going around um, to do a version in Japan with none other, and I don't want to butcher his name, but it literally <laughs> just popped out on my. But I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look it up because I will butcher the name, and I don't like that. We're really bad with names here, and we'd like to apologize um, yeah, profusely um, because trying. it's not about you and really we should be doing putting more effort into looking up how to pronounce these things before we start but as pointed out we haven't done a whole lot today in order to prepare for this we we really didn't really know we were going to do it until about 20 minutes beforehand yeah so then and people are like um what's the word campaigning Mm. to have hiroyuki sanada who's fucking great and you've seen him in many movies including Sunshine, Wolverine, uh, the, the the Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, Westworld. I feel like I do know this guy. Uh, yeah. He was just now in uh, Bullet Train that I just watched. Uh, yes. Army I of think, the Dead, Life. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. So they won him, and I'm like, 
Yes. Go in Japan. I, I want to see the Predator fight Samurais, which happened in Predators. <laughs> Sorry. I like... <laughs> Just want to point it out. The implication of it happened is like in real life. <laughs> it does, uh, but uh, yes, it 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 happened in Predators. That's a very fucking I... cool skin uh, skin scene. Scene. Thank you. <laughs> uh, in Predators, where uh, the predator fights a samurai, and it's fucking awesome. And I think it's a more. good. I think it's a good um, uh, way of doing things. To instead of just being like, oh, law, you can go, okay, and who's gonna, who's the predator gonna fight next? Yes, where they can just kind of stick him in different cultures and see how they so cool. uh, deal with that as a threat. Yeah, um, I think it, it, it would take a good, like, a very specific team to be able to do that in a way that doesn't feel repetitive, would be the only oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Dan, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just have Dan. And it's great, uh, but yeah, that's that's like you know that's a campaign now going on, and I'm I'm on board. I would love to see that, uh, but uh, also, obviously, if you stayed, uh, not after the credits, but during the credits, well, Naru and the and the tribe doesn't have long to live. Let's just. I missed. I didn't see this. You haven't seen this. I kept the credits up the entire time. I didn't see anything about this. You sure? Yeah. What about the spaceships that are coming for the tribe? I didn't see this at all. You didn't? No. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Oh, good. That's 100%. Like, you know, the all three pra- uh, spaceships, the big one, the two little ones are, are all coming back uh, for the tribe and Naru. So they're probably dead now. Well, that's not <laughs> great. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. But like, you know, if it's if it's like all the predators coming in. Kind of annoys me a little bit. I know. You, you really didn't. It doesn't really need. Didn't... I didn't see this at all. But like, I don't. It doesn't need that. You know. It's a foreshadowing, and you know. But like, I don't think it. I like the fact that it was very self-contained. But they didn't show anything. They just showed the drawing. What happened? After. Oh but yeah, I didn't see that at all. Figured. Uh, I will try and find it. If. Fuck off. Uh... Mm. Uh... I just, yeah. That Wait. feels like a step further than I would have wanted to know. Is there anything I liked? The um, I like I like endings that can feel open ended because like in that ending, you're like, oh, I've got I've got the victory I've got, but you can take the time to be like, well, they could have come back and had the X, Y, and Z and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm almost there. I mean, I have to finding it. I, I have to get into the movie because it's not on Google, which is very annoying. Mm. Google do better. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> do better. Uh, no. Pray, pray. I just watched it again because you know I wanted to see it in Hungarian as well. It's not as good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we our our uh, dubbing or whatever you call it. Is, is getting worse and I'm like huh. Huh. which I always praised and, and now I'm like yeah it's not what you want is it yeah no okay wait it's, oh, I'm almost there okay. ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> no he's turned into a monkey everybody I'm sorry it's Andy Circus. okay no <laughs> fuck off where is <laughs> it oh it's gonna be here wait 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 I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn it right on time no one second, one second. There they are. I hope you're gonna see it. Oh fuck uh, off! You might need to. Oh, okay, Wait. interesting. Can you see it now? No, it's blended into the background. Okay, that's a bit. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get you. Okay. Oh come on! It's fine. I got the idea. Yeah. Uh, They're coming okay. back. I can see that. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, it's a very predator thing to do as well. Yeah, like, you know, they one of the hunters is gone, so mm. they need to figure it out because that means that they have like an even bigger predator that they can go after. So they might not be dead. I might be just but, gloomy. No, I just, what I mean is just I like one of the things I really liked about the movie is that it felt like it was just you know one 
me. It felt very, very self-contained. And that makes it feel like it's doing the thing I just said where it, it's going for, oh, what if we did more and it would be bigger and better? And I'm like, I don't want... Don't, I don't... don't. I, I <laughs> think if they do another one, which would be great, I don't think it's going to be about Naru and the tribe. I mean, I would prefer that. That's, uh, that's to be fair. Like so that's why I'm like, I'm going a bit dark with it and say <laughs> that they are probably oh, dead. Man. There is a... Yeah. Sorry. That, um, no, it's fine. I'm just very... <laughs> <there's>, uh, <laughs> something for later. <laughs> something, well, now you... You can't keep doing this. Now you pique my interest. Like... Well, what? I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally. It, it's about where Black Sails is going. I'm very interested in certain, how you might feel about certain things later on. Um, but I don't want to get any further than that because are aliens coming in? Because no, that's... there are no aliens. Oh. <laughs> so sad. It's not Indiana Jones Four. Fine. God. <laughs> Look, as long as Charles Wayne is in it, I'm happy. Oh, it's a very good show if he's if he's in it. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, wow, I can't wait to have great and in-depth conversations with my friend about the deep narrative, and she's like, man, <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I guess he's not wrong. Then I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm correct. Like, you know, wrong. I was sitting in front of my TV and just just drawing like, oh yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> I don't hear lines then. It's just um to what be is fair, it the, the... mumbles all the time. That's true. I understand him very well though. Like his his you know he reminds... I, mean, I think I think he gets worse as it goes on. I think he gets lower to the point where I'm like Hey? What? Look, as long as that beautiful episode seven scene happens again, I'm good. That that's when he comes out of the ground again, yeah. right? Yeah, I thought that was the bit you were talking about. When, when <laughs> was, I was like, oh, the mystical vein rising from the dead bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I was like dying. Also, this made me realize because I obviously didn't pay attention to the logos. That it's a stars series. Yes, it is a stars series. And Spartacus was a star series. And you could see everything there as well. So I was like, ah. Oh, I think that we've moved away from Prey entirely. I feel like we've gotten over that point. We'll just keep going. Um... Yeah, I feel like you can tell it's a Star series from that first season, but they kind of move away from a lot of that stuff as they go on and get into the stuff that they really want to get into. Like, I, the like I said, the the sex is way less <laughs> as the seasons go on. Um, I mean, it's it's you know, it's understandable. It's it's there. Oh, I don't think any of the stuff that they do in that first season is is against the, the uh, what they do for the wider narrative. It, it's like it's it's fine. It's just that they. They kind of go, we've done this bit, we don't really need to go over it again, especially what they do to Max in that first season. They very oh, yeah. heavily like that uh, and when we get into when you get into season two, there's no more assault. Like it's okay, just good. Because that was very disturbing. Like it was disturbing. Uh, um it was it's like everything about that whole thing is kind of like, oh, you're trying to be Game of Thrones. Um is is no, 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 no. Game of Thrones has only I think one of those scenes, maybe two. I so. did. Like, where it's actual rape. Well, but there's... If, That's sex. It's kind of... Per, you know, it's, but it's per, like in... It's season quality. one. And season two. Yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's not it's not all about that. Season one was very happy with sex and whatnot, but like, yeah. They kind of move away. Move, but yeah, yeah, you basically don't see... I think you kind of... You see a bit in season two, and then basically everything from that point onwards, you don't see any. Um, but not in a way that makes me feel like you're trying to be dry, but it, it kind of, um, it, it, there's just other stuff going on. That they don't, yeah. it's, it's not necessary to keep going into it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're going to talk about Black, Black Sails at another point. Uh, how you, you, how you rate, uh, Prey? Oh, um, yeah, I think I give it a nine. It's good. Really, it's a really, it really a solid movie. Well. Yeah. It made me. It, I did that thing where I ended up curling my toes a bunch and was just sort of yep. like fidgeting because I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> yep. Same, same, same. It was very. Uh, uh, maybe the one thing that I would say is that it needs a uh, stronger music. It's like you know, I don't really remember the music in it. Yeah, I, I, I do see what you mean. It, it's it like, doesn't have exactly like uh, a, a 
I'm I'm all right with things not having like a roaring score because no. I do think that sometimes it under yeah. it, it undercuts what you're trying to go for, and I feel yeah. like it was going for something more quiet. But I I don't think I remember any of the music that was no. really in it. Not really. Um, which which is you know it's fine uh, obviously, but at the same time I'm like maybe maybe work on that a little bit. Just a, just a tiny. A theme would be nice. A theme, yeah. Yeah, especially when you like Native Americans, they have such beautiful themes, and I think it it could have been worked really into name. it, yeah, very well. And I I think they just good. missed missed that chance there, like you know, it would be very cool. Like maybe that. in the Japanese era, I'd say. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, just saying stuff. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's a nine. Yeah, good. It's a nine. It's a definite. You already know what would have made it a ten, but like. No, I honestly don't know. It's just literally, it's a nine because there are tens out there, and and I don't know. I, it's a ten. It's not like a, yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> um, it's not like it's not like I have any major criticisms with it. No, or any really criticisms with it. Not but really. it is, it's not like it. I think that last point is more of a taste thing, you know. By what? what do you, oh yeah, a, a personal yeah. taste thing in that. Like I'm like. I really enjoyed it. It's not necessarily the movie I go for always. It's um, um, but the fact that it got yeah. to a nine, even it just in spite of all of that stuff, is yeah, 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 an achievement in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, my opinion on movies is the most important thing. <laughs> she says with heavy irony, as she understands that that's not what she meant to say at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that's why it's a nine, but it's it's a very strong nine. Like let's be fair, uh, it's a very good movie. A and, strong nine. Yes, and uh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> this is what I want from a Jurassic horror survival thing. Like yeah, I think I see what you mean. This works very well. It does work very well. So less is more. Less is more. She says very important compared to all the. Filmmakers, I got a notification from Twitch that may be distracted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yes. So very good. Go and watch it. Honestly, it's worth your time. Um, Hulu, Disney Plus. Yes. Depending on your region. Yes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because that's very nice. We're Comments, very nice. Shares, all of those things. We appreciate being able to talk to people. Yes, and to each other. <laughs> Which we would do anyway, but you know, it's it's f- even more fun like this, just sharing our thoughts on movies and TV. Uh, probably TV is going to happen next week uh, because I, yeah. I'm intending to finish. Uh, 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 Sandman. The Sam. Thank you. Mr. My brain. Sandman. Brain fart. Um, Man, me, Sam. Oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> stop! Every single time I see it, it's all in my head. Uh, we also have a few guests lined up uh, which would happen shortly-ish one is in September that's all I know for now but you know we're working on it oh Katie doesn't know yet she's gonna know <laughs> <laughs> but we're working on it uh, but yeah this was us I I do, I do. that's fair um, uh, this was us and we see you next week of the Sandman love you all Bye.